So last time we left at this point, and we were talking about how to print our string. In this case, I want to add some variables. For example, let's say my name is uh, Jack, right here. Uh, if I run it, it's going to say my name is Jack, of course. But again, if I want to print this several times, for example, my name is Jack, my name is Jack, my name is Jack, over and over, then, okay, let's run it. My name is Jack, my name is Jack, and I want to change the name, because maybe I'm talking about somebody else, and I want to say John. Now, I have to go and change every single one of these uh, lines, in order if I want to change it. So, we can start introducing variables. Now, the thing that, um, the thing with that uh, we have to take it, consider is that we have to always specify at the beginning what kind of variable we are introducing. So for example, since we're talking about a name, we have to say that our variable will be a string, which is just a list of character. Then we name the string name, and we're going to say that it's equals to, and let's say, John. Okay. So, with this, now, Uh, with this, now, we just have to change this, say my name is, my name is, my name is, and then we add our variable now, since we don't need to use that anymore, since we don't, we need to just use the variable, we can just change it to the, to the variable. In order to do this, we have to add our variable after our uh, sentence. How do we do this? Well, we just, uh, actually, it's very easy. Uh, we just add our uh, variable after this close sign, so we say name, and then closed. Actually, sorry, this was the only one that didn't need it. So let's see. So X, control V. Okay. Um, Of course, yeah, again, as you can see, another mistake that we do is I put only one apostrophe, or it has to be a double apostrophe. See, now it says no error, and now I can just say, My name is John, my name is, my name is, and so we just change it. We just copy and paste over here. And so now that we run it, it's gonna say, You know what, let me just build it, and so we don't have to do that. Really. Okay, my name is John, my name is John, my name is John. And now with what we'll change over here, for example, we'll say, Mike, everything changes and it just becomes faster. Mike, Mike, Mike. This is a variable, and it can, there can be different variables. For example, we can say a integer variable, so int, and we say age is equals to I don't know. For example, how old you are? Let's say thirty-five. Um, or we can use um. We can use a decimal, but how do we use a decimal? Well, a decimal is not an integer. Uh, a decimal is something that is out there. So, for example, if I said uh, age one and it said thirty-five point three point five, sorry, then this value over here, as you can see, already tell me that's a mistake. It's not an integer because it's a decimal. In order to do a decimal, we can either use float. Or we can use, as you can see now, there's no error anymore. Or we can use double. Double is a little better because it has no ending to the uh, decimal that you're gonna use. So you can just, uh, for example, uh, uh, float ends after a certain amount of decimals. Of double does not. So here, for example, let me just change this to uh, print out. I am double possibly. I am, and then we say the age. Then again, years, the space here, old. So in this case, for example, I'm gonna say, uh, I am 35 years old, as you can see. What if I wanna use this one over here? I just change to age one, I just said it's a double, and I say, 
I am 3.5 years old, which is about is three and a half. Instead, I want to show you if I change it to integer here, what would happen? It just rounds it. It says three years old. It doesn't take up the care of the decimal. Now, rounds it is actually a little wrong because, for example, if you use 3.8, It doesn't run to the four, it just used three. So it kind of truncates. Everything that is after decimal is just gone. Doesn't affect the numbers at all. So here we can use float or double. Oops. We can use one or two. So for example, if you use float, now in our case we don't see any difference because it's a little a decimal, 3.8. And if you use double, again, we're going to see 3.8. But not if you use integer. And that is how we can introduce variables. Now, variables can be anything. can be a string, can be an integer, can be a double. Now, there's another in, uh, variable that, that is used in its character, or char. It's a uh, single character. So, it's like this. Now, in this case, it's a single character. We can use one single poster. Now, this work, however, it's accomplished just the same way with a string. So for example, if I said string character one is equals to C, they mean the same exact thing. So if I said, for example, C out, we can test it. Um, we said character, <coughs> I'm sorry. Oops, character, and out. And then see out character one and the L. Now, as you can see, there is no difference. Let me show you a little better. There we go. So there is no difference. It prints out these two. So my opinion, the only two, the only two variables that are actually interesting, that are actually worth it, are string. Uh, Actually, not two, uh, three integer and double. These three are the the, fir the first three, the, the the important one. Now then, there's character and a float. However, these other two are uh, kind of uh, useless. I don't want to say useless, but that's the coolest thing you can think of. Uh, but yeah, first string, remember. Second two, if you need to, but you cannot get around without it. Anyway, and that is how we can. Uh, work with it. As you can see, it works perfectly. We have no problem. Just remember it's double apostrophe for a string. You can use one apostrophe just for when using a character only and you have to say that it's going to be the variable is a char or a character.